this is a special report short, y'all. Making this off live. But this is the war on the people. Listen to this report. And then I'm going to bring up a Google search. Low-income Americans to lose access to food stamps or decrease their size, there's the size of their benefit. And just who does that policy change affect the most? This will not surprise you, given this administration. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, a disproportionate number of non-white people will go hungry, thanks to the Trump administration. Proving that just because you can travel overseas for a photo op in a war zone doesn't mean you can't simultaneously wage a war against people of color back home. And joining me now is Julian Castro, the former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Obama and a current candidate for president. Um, I um, just want to stop this for commentary purposes. This is for educational purposes. Some very venomous words at the end. She was just letting it all hang out. War on people of color. And, and the numbers will actually back up that statement. Food prices are going to go through the roof. As fewer people have access to food stamps, that means vendors going to have to offset that that basically subsidies that was coming through the door in that farm. And it's going to pass on those costs to you, the working consumer. And if you can't pay your bills, you can't pay your home, you end up homeless. There's something waiting for you there as well. And Secretary Castro, thank you so much for being here. Great to be with you, Joy. So to look at the numbers on this proposed change, um, to food stamp benefits. Um, Robert Reich uh, helpfully posted a state-by-state -state count of who would lose the most money or who would lose the most opportunity to eat. 400,000 Texans, 328,000 Floridians, 225,000 in Pennsylvania, 176,000 in Washington State, 165,000 in Michigan, 118 in Wisconsin, 97,000 in Georgia. It goes on and on and on. As somebody who was a mayor of a, of a big city um, and had to deal sort of one-on-one -on -one with the needs of, of American citizens, um, what do you make of this rule change to basically make people go hungry? Uh, it's stupid. It's cruel. It's exactly the wrong direction. We need to actually be providing more opportunity for people to get the food that they need. Uh, there's one estimate out there, one analysis that says that this could cause uh, more than 2 million more people to be food insecure, these changes that the Trump administration is proposing. We also see out there uh, a growing number of homeless uh, individuals in cities big and in small towns. So yeah, this is exactly the wrong direction that our country should be going in. And a couple days ago, I released a plan to end hunger in America, to make investments in our SNAP program, in the WIC program, these programs that provide the basic necessities for many people throughout this country of all different backgrounds in rural areas and in urban areas to be able to get the food they need. And as you know, Joy, but a lot of folks out there may not realize, you know, for many families, SNAP, which is the main program that provides food assistance, delivers something like a dollar forty cents worth per meal for people. And so this idea that some folks have, you know, this old idea from the 1980s, from the Reagan era, that uh, people are, are on these benefit programs and they're somehow living high on the hog and getting wealthy, that's not true at all. There are a lot of people that are barely getting by already with uh, these programs, and we actually need to invest so that less children go hungry, more families have the food that they need, more seniors uh, who are desperate for this food are able to get it. They really don't care. Right here. Las Vegas makes law that makes it illegal to sleep on the streets. November 7, 2019. Las Vegas law makes sleeping on downtown streets illegal. In other words, homeless, your ass falls asleep, your ass goes to jail. You are going to be unwanted, unneeded, due to automation, robotics, and then incarcerated. And that's the game plan. If you don't believe me, research the shit yourself. The war continues. 
peace and power. I'm out.